Well, the Hawaii Convention Center is now the location of 45 new pickleball courts. Dozens of state leaders and athletes attended a blessing for the courts this morning. And in just a few days, those courts are going to see some action in the first ever Aloha Pickleball Games and Festivals. Our Diana Cole even hit a few rounds. There are an estimated several thousand pickleball players in this state, and that number is growing by about 50% a year here and across the states. Well, I love these courts. It's amazing. I got to play on them, and, and at first you're a little hesitant because you're used to, to outdoor type of courts, but it really plays well, and the environment is awesome. You're out of the sun, you're out of the wind. Coretta says he's seen an explosive growth in pickleball players since he turned pro in 2018. There's a huge movement worldwide for people taking uh, trips for vacations for pickleball as well as tournaments and, um, and even like instructional uh, traveling. For the Aloha Pickleball Games and Festival, most players are from Hawaii, but the hope is to eventually attract more visitors who fly to the state just to play pickleball here. This is an opportunity to bring keiki in to senior citizens, uh, and we've seen this happen in cities throughout the world uh, where you have major tournaments. Hanneman says this reinforces Hawaii's goal of becoming a sports tourism destination. When they come for tournaments, they'll stay five days. They'll stay in the hotels, they eat in the restaurants, they'll shop. The Aloha Pickleball Games and Festivals runs from Friday through Sunday. The amateur pickleball event is for players of all ages and skill levels. There will be over 600 pickleball players here when the tournament starts on Friday. The advanced slots are all filled up, but there are still some beginner openings. Get chance of what, Kyle? Yeah, sign up in the beginners. <laughs> Oops. Ah. From the Convention Center, Diana Coe, Island News.